baking soda right here. Baking soda, right here. The water. Ginger, and one key lime into the water like this. So it's going to help you if you're a person who keeps the baking soda. Right here, so we'll just put into the water, and I'll just wash them off. So you need to wash off your celery, and we got the lemon, the lime, and we got a piece of a ginger, right here, so. All right, so we're gonna show you exactly why chef's pot and turn on the heat on it like this all right yeah and um once you do that all right once you do that we're going to put a large cups of hot water we're not going to keep the show too long either it's just a quick recipe in the morning because you know a lot of people then you have to wash the ingredients then really good before you use them all right here it is this is the key lime and we're gonna put that straight into the water like this all right yeah secondly we're gonna get our favorite now celery we're gonna put it straight into the water all right so as you guys can see what i've been doing last night we did a perfect um high blood pressure tea I don't know if you guys see that one last night. Come back right here, sir. And yeah, we're going to simple edge it off. I'm using some fresh celery. Now, you may not get organic celery. You may only get the natural celery from the supermarket and we don't know. So that's why this one right here is coming up to Easter. And if you didn't get one, make sure you get one. Check because pick up yourself here. Thank you so much. All right, here it is, and that's looking good. Now, here's one of my secrets I like to use also. I might show you don't know what's going on. Cloves, I like cloves. Cloves is very good for bacterial in your gut. Put a few cloves in it. It's going to help you also. All right, then what I'm going to do, I may add a little bit more of the hot water to it because it help you. All right, you might have said to me, sir, can I make a natural juice from it? You can make celery juice. Yes, you can make celery juice, but we're talking about something to warm. Mm -mm. Rinse it out. That's what they get. 100% effective, guys. I'm telling you. Here it is. All right, let's come back over here. And this is it. I turn off my cooker. All right. Yeah. This is all I need to do this morning. Yeah. 100%. So basically, this is two large cup I make right here. So what you can do, you can also drink it right straight through the beer. You don't got no problem of drinking it right straight through the beer. If you're allergic to celery, because celery is an allergy, you know it as an allergy, so basically be careful of it. And let it go and cool for a little bit. And once it's cool, we just pour it out and make a beautiful cup of tea from it. And also you can use some good organic honey from it to give it a little bit of sweet flavor to it because Many people cannot drink it this way. The mission is, I'm not asking you for nothing. The mission is that you live with your husband, you live with your wife, you live with your girl and healthy. You may think everything is good, but no. Trust me, because back in the days, what happened to me when I was in my 20s and my 30s, I think everything was good until I get high blood pressure. So, that's my example I'm sharing to you right there. Let's pour out this beautiful cup of tea, which we just made. And as I say, you can drink it in the morning. And also, 
in the evening. It is two cups of tea right here. And that is it. Oh, right, look. And what we're gonna do is, all right, get some organic honey and put it in like this. This is a good organic honey, guys. All right, then we have the, the key lime. Let's, let's put a piece of slice of the key lime inside of it. Two slices of the ginger inside of it also. All right, and some of the the celery and the cloves also inside of it, guys. All right. Yeah, and that's it. So what I will do, I'm gonna show you a one little tips now. What I'm going to be doing with this, I'm going to come back over here and pour some hot water on it. All right. And then I just have to leave it in the pot for it to go and soak for the rest of the day. All right, and now you can also drink this later on, down in the evening hours, before you eat your meal, or after you eat your meal, you can also drink it. So this is my tips and ideas for you for the day. Cover it, and just leave it in the kitchen like this, all right? Now you can also get yourself a copy of the book, From Poverty to Purpose, Chef Ricardo's Secret Recipes to Success. Please support the progress, and also, leave a comments guys and thank you so much for watching we got a lot more ideas and a lot more tips and recipes for you and as i say if you think you're going out every minute and every second you are